Okay, now banning old popular books with stereotyped illustrations, in my view, is a terrible way to combat racism. Six children's books by the famous Dr. Seuss will no longer be published because Dr. Seuss Enterprises says they are hurtful and wrong. Specifically, they show Chinese people, such as myself, as oriental stereotypes, holding chopsticks, wearing the conical hat, the stereotype moustache and, and, and narrow eyes. Now, tech giant eBay has also cancelled listings selling the six books because they considered them insensitive. The argument is that stereotype illustrations often are the basis for racism against Chinese people, especially our physical appearance. Like, I know that I will never forget uh, the children who, during my childhood years, pulled the ends of their eyes to mock me or drew pictures in class showing me a slanty eye. But context is everything. And to me, the illustrations I saw of Chinese people in these books, or Chinese characters, really, in these books, are dated but not hateful towards Chinese. They can easily be explained to children, and overall, these books would then bring so much joy and excitement to them. Now, most people who read these books and see those illustrations know that they are the product of an old era when most people had never worked or lived with East Asians, such as Chinese or Koreans or Japanese, and so often had a very narrow idea of what we looked like or what we did. But society now knows that we Asians are so much more than that. I'm Chinese Australian, then, and that's certainly what I'm going to tell my children when they are old enough to read these books. And I'm going to be sure to find whatever counterfeit copies I can so they can still enjoy Dr. Seuss's incredible imagination and illustrations. To be honest, some of it actually scared me sometimes, but I think it's such an incredible part of our childhood. Now, cancel culture always tries to laugh off these references, for example, or comparisons to Mao's book burnings during the Cultural Revolution. Most progressives have never had their books banned or censored, so why would they see a problem? And it can also be easy to ridicule a concern when we're at the thin end of the wedge. It's quite reasonable to believe other libraries and bookstores will follow eBay, given that it's mainly been influential American librarian associations that have long labelled the books as problematic, and now they finally have a head on a poll. Dr. Seuss Enterprises has explicitly stated that they aren't stopping here with revisiting the author's work, and we've already seen other books dropped or banned for old depictions of minorities that are only incidental to the overall story and greatness of a book. Hemingway, Conrad, Harper Lee, Enid Blyton, and even comics such as Asterix and Tintin. We should not remove even the supposedly offensive illustrations, let alone ban entire books, because you then now deprive society of a teaching moment you also enrage and harden racists and move us deeper into cancel and deplatforming culture that can create even more rage and division.